Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here back again at the Appalachian Ocean. Now what am I going to be grilling today? <clears throat> You're probably like, man, what's that cord hanging out? Well that's my electric charcoal starter. And this right here is ready to take out. Charcoal's good. Just using a basic charcoal today. Um, actually, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to toss on some hickory chips. You know, let's make this a little bit a little bit jazzier here. Let's put some hickory chips on there. So you wonder what I'm grilling today. I'm grilling this. You could pick this up most any grocery store. It's cheap. It's just called Polska Kielbasa. Some people say Kielbasa. I just say Kielbasa, man. Now there's several ways you can do this. Sometimes uh, we're just going to get into it and I'll talk through it as we go. These are hickory chips. I put a little bit of hickory chips on my on my charcoal just to add a little bit of hickory flavor to the kielbasa. Not a lot, just a little. And uh, now we're going to put our. Don't really need a cast iron grill grate for kielbasa, but I love this thing so much for grilling steaks, pork chops, chicken that I'm just going to put it back in there instead of getting the regular insert out. Put my cast iron grate back in there. Now there's different preparations. This today, when I grill my kielbasa, this is just going to be the basic way to do it. And then we're going to plate it as a meal in itself. A lot of times I'll do kielbasa and I'll serve it along with uh, barbecue, pepperoncini, cheese, etc. And today I'm just actually going to do the the kielbasa. We do the kielbasa with uh, with some cheese. We put that in there. We're going to let that cook just a little bit. We don't want to. We don't want it to flame up. That flame, I can see through the hole right there. It just went out. Obviously, it flamed up because I put wood chips on top of the charcoal, and wood chips burn. So uh, see now, we've got the smoke, and that's what I wanted. All that I want, and this is a, I mean, people accuse you of eating a fancy hot dog. They're like, man, kill boss is just a fancy hot dog. Well, you know what? Who knows what bologna is, but fried bologna is delicious too. So, you know, with that being said, something as simple as kielbasa, you don't even have to add the hickory, chip, hickory chips if you don't want to. You just use charcoal, but, you know, let this cook, get you a good texture, and then, uh, then I'm going to show you what I do to jazz up the kielbasa after it's been grilled, hit with a little bit of hickory, and how I serve it is a standalone, affordable, yet delicious meal, or just a, you know, a good, uh, a good snack. So, uh, yeah, let's let's let this thing right here do its magic, man. Oh, and by the way, while this is going, you can expand this video's description and then click the links there to find the grill like I use, and then also all the accessories like the uh, electric charcoal lighter, the grill brush like I use that the bristles probably don't fall off of, all kinds of good stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to turn this into an exceptionally tasty meal or snack, depending upon how many people. So basically, there's my kielbasa. It's cooked to perfection. I grab it, put it on my plate. You'll notice that yellow stuff, that's cheese. And if anybody ever says to you, man, you're just eating a fancy hot dog, be like, Yo, bro, I'm from the Appalachian Ocean, and this is how we eat. Just say that, and they should shut down. 
So now let's go ahead and prepare this. And I'm gonna show you step by step how to turn this seemingly basic piece of kielbasa into something just fantastic. Okay, so this is how to turn it to something that looks just kind of, let's just call it like it is. Just simple and plain. So you get your cheese, you chop your cheese up. You do this right here, just get your cheese. And then chop your cheese into cubes. See that? Get your cubes of cheese there. And now this is where it gets interesting. So you put your cheese kind of to the side and then on your plate, you slice your kielbasa. Look at that, perfect. Some people make it longer. I like smaller bite-sized pieces because if you're, if you're serving this up, you can just put little toothpicks in it and, uh, you know, and serve it as an hors d'oeuvre. Be fancy and snooty with your kielbasa, bro. See, this is what I do here. I just cut this up. Just continue along. Oh man, this looks good. Look at that. No! Straggler. I ate it. Mmm. You can do kind of sideways, get you a longer slice like that if you want to. I'm tired of slicing now, so I'm just gonna eat this big piece. And now, look at this. A light dusting of barbecue salt, and then some homemade mustard barbecue sauce and I mean you can go to town you got kielbasa you can eat it by itself you can dip it in the mustard sauce you dip your cheese in the mustard sauce you don't have to use any sauce or any seasoning you can just eat the kielbasa straight up well there you go that's my kielbasa cheese plate Subscribe, ring that bell, and check out all of Chef Ira Sky's cooking videos. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Ira Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.